Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we've got a really exciting unboxing thanks to the people over at Character. Before I begin this unboxing I just want to say a massive thank you to both Character Options and Evolution PR for making this video possible and I'll include information in the description box below on everything you need to know about what is inside this particular packaging. Now for those of you who are Doctor Who fans and, and who are based in the UK, all of these items within this package will be available to purchase towards the end of August. These are all going to be B&M exclusives, so if you are on the hunt for these particular figures, they can only be found at B&M stores across the UK. I have no idea what's in this particular package, and I really can't wait to crack it open and show you guys what's inside. Right, so we've definitely got some awesome Doctor Who figures. Wow. So the first product in this box is the brand new 4th Doctor from Sharda and TARDIS. As you can see, we've got a fantastic looking brand new 4th Doctor variant. And I must say that the TARDIS itself also looks incredible. I really like its very unique and distinctive windows. And I do believe that this particular box has a brand new reworked base, as well as a brand new lantern. As you see, can see on the side of the packaging, we've got a closer up image of the TARDIS, as well as of the 4th Doctor figure. And then at the back of the packaging, we've got those same product shots with a really interesting bio on both the story as well as the fourth Doctor and the TARDIS. This was one of the sets that I was really excited for as the fourth Doctor is actually my favourite classic Doctor. So yeah, fourth Doctor and TARDIS from Sharda. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for a full review on all of these items. This particular set looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see, you've got the limited edition sticker. These sets look really, really well done. And this is probably the best year for B&M exclusives. Taking a look at the second set in this box. Wow, here we've got the 7th Doctor, an Axis Strike Squad Dalek. These particular sets are really special as they're the first big finish sets ever to be produced by character options. Here we've got what appears to be a TV movie 7th Doctor and a really interesting take on the modern design for the Daleks. The packaging for these particular sets is amazing. We've got the new Doctor Who logo with the 7th Doctor based on his appearance from the TV movie. It also states what Big Finish story these particular sets are based upon. Inside of the packaging has a really awesome image of the Daleks as well as the Dalek that will actually feature within this set. You've got an image of K9, Leela and Romana. And then the back of the box gives you a brief description on the story of which this particular set is based upon. We've got a really cool image of the modern day TARDIS as well as a cover photo on what particular big finish story this particular set is based on. And here we've got an image of both the Seventh Doctor and the Dalek. This particular set looks really really well done. Seventh Doctor is a really nice variant to have and it's probably the closest we'll ever get to a TV movie Seventh Doctor. This Dalek is also a really cool inclusion and I can't wait to show you guys this review in closer detail. Now turning to the three packs, here we've got what seems to be the two Doctor set. Wow, this is one that I was really excited for. Here we've got Perry in her very futuristic outfit. And she looks great too. As you can see, we've got a headband painted on. We've got the second Doctor, as I do believe as an Aldrigum. You see, he's got his really exaggerated orange eyebrows. This particular variant of the second Doctor is fantastic. And here we've got a Sontaran figure that I never thought we would ever see. Here we've got Group Marshal Stike. A brand new head sculpt, which is a first for big finish figures. This really is a fantastic looking set. And then turning around to the back, Perry, Stike, and the second Doctor. And then the back of the packaging has some closer up product images. I must say I'm really excited to crack this open for the classic Sontaran as I don't ever believe we've ever got Sontaran figures for this particular story. So there's the two Doctors set, another fantastic looking B&M set and will be available towards the end of August. Now coming to our final 3 pack set, here we've got the 7th Doctors set. Now this is essentially a Silver Nemesis set as you can see, we've got the 7th Doctor in his cream jacket with the solemn head. I'm actually so glad that we've got this particular release as I never managed to get the Seventh Doctor in his cream jacket and he looks absolutely fantastic. And these are actually my favorite design of Cybermen. I do have the original versions and these are a lot more silvery 
than those particular versions. They can't actually capture the chrome look on these figures just due to the material of the plastic that the figures are made out of. But I definitely think they've come very close. And these are a massive upgrade on the previous versions with much more shinier TV accurate paint jobs. You can see the Seventh Doctor collector set. It states that it's got the Seventh Doctor, Cyber Leader, and Cyber Man. The side of the packaging showcases all of the figures. And the back of the box has a really cool product image of all three of the figures. So that is my unboxing video on the brand new Doctor Who B&M exclusives. As I stated before, I want to say a massive thank you to both Character Options and Evolution PR for sending these over ahead of their release date. I do believe that all of these figures will actually be released towards the end of August, so definitely check your B&M stores to work around the mid-August, end of August time. All of these sets will retail for roughly $19.99, which I think is a great price for these particular figures, especially as we're some awesome variants and some brand new sculpts. The TARDIS is a completely reworked design. The Sontaran is a completely brand new head sculpt. And I really like the big finish inclusion. And if you didn't manage to get your hands on the original Silver Nemesis set, then this is definitely a fantastic set to pick up as you get probably one of the rarest classic Cybermen figures to ever to be released by character options. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video. Please stay tuned for individual reviews on each of these sets. And I will be including information down in the description box below of where you can buy these particular figures and the prices, etc. Thanks for watching.